All right, everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'll be giving my full review of the Link Plus T3 Android tablet. Okay, so once again, I want to say thanks to Link Plus for sending this tablet out for review. Also, I want to say that my opinions, my thoughts, everything that I'm going to say about this tablet are my own. Uh, no one's telling me what to say, nothing like that. I'll be fully transparent with y'all that with whatever I review, my opinions are my own, good or bad, whatever the case may be. So I want to let y'all know that there. So I've had this tablet for around two months now, and I've used it quite extensively in those two months. Now, I don't typically use tablets a whole lot, but I really wanted to test this tablet out, run it through its paces, see what it can handle, all that kind of good stuff. I will not be going through all the specs. If you want to see that video, the unboxing, fully spec and everything, I'll leave a card up here somewhere if you want to watch that, and I highly recommend that you do. Um, so yeah, but let's go ahead and get right into the tablet here. So this is made completely out of aluminum. Um, I think on the sides as well, maybe some plastic on the top here. I'm not really too, too sure about that, but as far as I know, it is all aluminum. Got your camera and your flashback here. Now on the sides, you do got your two speakers there and USB-C as well as two more speakers over here on this side and it won't focus, but it's okay. On top, of course, you do have your power button and your volume rockers there. Now, this is an, uh, a Wi-Fi only tablet. There is no LTE support, nothing like that. And on the bottom, you do get your um, SD card slot here as well. So turning the tablet over here, and you have a really nice 10.36 inch display with resolution of 2000 by 1200, okay? really nice okay the display is looks really good and i'm very impressed by this tablet if i'm being honest with you um you know the performance is nice and snappy i have not played like the really high graphic intense games i just really don't play those uh, but i'll get into gaming here in just a moment now this is running android version 13 you know power in this is the mediatek helio g99 octa core processor with a gigabytes of RAM and storage is 128 gig with, of course, external storage uh, with an SD card slot. So, you know, not going to go into the set. There's nothing like that right now because there's no point in that. Uh, it does have a CCR display, but like I said, it's under $170. This is not going to compete with like a Galaxy tablet, nothing like that. Okay, so don't go into this tablet expecting you know, tablets that cost three or four or five, six times its price, okay? Uh, for what you're getting here, you are getting a really good tablet. Uh, it has Widevine L1, which means you can watch all of your Netflix, Prime, you, all that stuff in HD. And I have been watching like the NFL Network. I have watched Prime, Netflix, and this display, I mean, it is just really clear. I have actually put this tablet up against some more expensive tablets, and this display has held its own. You know, it's not bad at all. So what I want to do first is get into gaming. Now, I want to keep this as short as possible, but this may be a little bit lengthy, as I want to give you just basically everything about the tablet, okay, that I can think of. Gaming, video, sample, audio sample you know all that stuff and just kind of give you you know show you what you can get for the price tag okay so i'm gonna go ahead right now load up asphalt 9 okay so i do have this set on the highest quality okay it's not set to default or nothing like that it is set to the highest quality here so let's just see uh how it performs You're really going to see how that Helio G99 works uh, in, uh, with this tablet. Uh, and, you know, if I, if I say phone anywhere in this review, I apologize because I, I just don't review tablets that much. But you can see right here, I mean, there is no drop frames. It is smooth as butter. I mean, I have not seen any hiccups. I've not seen any problems except for when I crashed just then. But even there, you can see there was no drop frames in that. 
I mean, it's a very smooth experience, even with the highest, you know, quality settings here set up. So, if I'm being honest, you know, if you play Asphalt 9 or any kind of game with this kind of graphical, you know, in intensity, you're going to be just fine. No issues. So now, we're going to go ahead, move on to the next game. Okay, so now we're on Call of Duty. And Call of Duty is kind of one of those games that's kind of optimized for mobile. But we're going to see how it does on here. The graphics on here are set to the highest possible. I've done done one of these because uh, I paused my camera and forgot to unpause it. So, <laughs> having to put another game here of it. And I, I'm going to try to keep this thing here in, uh, in the frame because I was having a problem in the last one. But honestly, now now this is a game here. You might want you won't might want a controller for because you know I mean this is a big tablet and the controls are kind of close together. And if you ain't careful, then yeah. But you're gonna have no problem playing. They got me. So we'll play here for a couple more seconds here. This can really be fun, you know? Haha, <laughs> take that. Yes, what's up? Ah, oh, missed. But yeah, I mean, gameplay is really good. Like I said, I got, I, 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 I do have the settings set to the highest. So stand still. Dang it, dude, stand still. Yeah. So I'll play for a couple more seconds here, and yeah, I got taken out. So. Yeah, that's Call of Duty Mobile. Honestly, you're not going to have any problem playing these types of games. I recommend a controller for a game like this on a tablet of this size. But honestly, really good. Now, I do want to make a correction here. Uh, when I was playing Call of Duty, I noticed that the graphics were on medium. But that is the highest it will allow it to go on here. I had other settings set to the highest. However, graphics was, you know, the max stat was a medium. So, but you can see there, it worked great. Quality was good. I also hooked this up to my Xbox. Got the Xbox app downloaded right here. I logged into it. I uh, played GTA Online uh, with my Xbox controller. Uh, I would do that now, but it's more of a pain and hassle than it's worth right at this moment. Uh, and I had no problems. Um, I mean, the graphics, of course, is not as good as like a 4K TV, of course. But if you want to play your Xbox games, you got, you know, your Xbox controller and you're like in the same area. Oh, you, know, you can you can play your games just fine. You know, yeah. So I, I done that and it played perfectly. It never got hot, never warmed up. Um, this G99 processor, you can play games like right now playing all them games, this thing, being aluminum, it is cool. It's not warm in in the least. Uh, now I want to show you, I mean, just, I should have done this before, but I didn't. But I do want to show you a Geekbench test that I did run. And it's kind of going to prove to you in a way that benchmark tests are not accurate, especially, and, and even like the 3D Mark Gaming test. You've seen how the gaming was. Gaming was smooth at the highest possible settings. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the Geekbench test and the 3D Mark test. Let's take a look at it. So here is the Geekbench 6 score. Now, when it comes to like, you know, system information, I'm not sure what's important, what's not important. So, you know, I just kind of waited it out. Um, but the single core is 737, multi-core 2047. Respectable speeds, that's not bad, you know, for how this thing operates. But let's take you over to 3D Mark, and you might be a little surprised at those scores. And you'll see that the wildlife test, I'm not sure if this is even the wildlife extreme test, but it only got a score of 1247. 
and a frame rate of 7.47. You know, like I said, I've played Xbox games on here. I've played those games in the highest settings possible, and they play super good. I mean, you know, without any problems. That score, I think that was, like I said, I believe that was just on the regular wildlife, not the extreme, because um, it couldn't do the extreme test. But, yeah, I don't really agree too much with those numbers, seeing as how well this thing does play games. Uh, rather on Xbox, if it's connected to that, or games that you download uh, from the Play Store. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, so now we're on to the video test. I do have a animal scenery video pop, uh, pulled up here. Uh, and I was able to upscale this to 1440. And the, the display, it just looks really good. It looks really crisp. Looks really clean. I mean, you're not going to have a bit of problem. I mean, the camera really doesn't do it justice. But, man, I mean, just this display. I mean, yeah, it kind of... You know, has that effect pretty easily to, uh, but you can see even the viewing angles are not bad. And I mean, regardless of what you're watching, you're going to have a very good viewing experience from this display. I mean, it's really shocking to me how good this display actually is. And so, um, you know, but what is a good display if you got really poor speakers, you know? Uh, of course, you can hook up Bluetooth, stuff like that, but uh, let's just go ahead right now and check out that sound quality. So I got a no copyright sound video pulled up here. It says bass boosted, but it's really not that bass boosted, okay, on this on this tablet here. Now, headphone warning, it is 100% loudness, so let's just see how these quad speakers sound. <laughs> So honestly, they don't sound bad. I mean, you know, I have noticed that whenever you're watching certain things, whether like that on my end sounded a little bit muffled, but if like if I'm watching movies or if I'm watching you know, sports or whatever, it's got more of a clear sound to it. So I think it just depends on, you know, what you have coming through your speakers. Uh, it may sound a little more muffled. It may sound a little bit more clear. So honestly, video quality is solid. You know, audio quality is really good, especially for the price point. Gameplay is really good. Now, let's get into the battery. Now, this has a 7,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, I did try to do a battery test on this numerous times, okay? I would charge it to 100%. You know, I like for my stuff to reset, my screen on time, you know, what I have been using it, you know, the battery for. But for some reason, this thing just would not reset whenever it came to the battery. I would do everything possible to get it to where it would just wipe it out. And I could start over and do video tests um, and daily usage tests and just stuff like that. But I was never able to get it to work right. So I was just, so yeah, I mean, I can't really give you a screen on time, um, you know, but a 7,000 milliamp hour battery. I think it's also got 20 watt char uh, 20 watt fast charge. Yeah, so it's got 20 watt fast charging and all that kind of stuff here as well. Um, and, you know, the battery is good. I wouldn't say the battery is the best on the market, you know, but it does a good job. I mean, I believe, I mean, I've watched like two NFL games back to back. They're like, you know, three or four hours long. Still have plenty of battery left. Um, you know, and able to, you know, watch YouTube, stuff like that, and still have battery left. So I believe that, like, if you take, if you take this on, on a trip, you know, you're not going to have any problems and not going to get bored because this thing's going to go dead on you. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. Now, you know, everything I've said about this tablet so far has been really good. I mean, the performance, excellent. I've not had a bit of problem with performance. 
uh, it's just been solid. Now, with the price of a tablet like this, you are going to have some shortcuts. And that shortcut always comes in the form of cameras, okay? Now, unfortunately for this video here, I do not have any photo or any video samples. I do really apologize for that. I did want to try to get some of those, but I just never did. Uh, I will try to get those here at a later time. Um, but I would say that, you know, if you're outside in good lighting, it may be passable, okay? Um, but if you're in lower light, forget it okay so i would say camera you would don't buy this for a camera if you have really good light and i would say that you could probably pass with like a video call from the front camera stuff like that um but that's about it okay uh secondly is software support okay this does run android version 13 and i'm not really sure you know what else uh it has here let's go here I'll go to my security. So right now you'll see that we're on April 5th of 2023 security patch. Uh, I just don't, I haven't got any updates. Okay, no security updates. Um, I'm glad it did come out with Android version 13. However, I just really, I, I don't see, you know, I think that they are to, you know, for something like this here, they should give you like at least one major OS update. And at least at least two years of, you know, maybe maybe bi monthly or an update every three months just to show that they are showing support for their product. Because I want to be honest with you, this thing has been solid. I mean, other than those two things there, um, I do not have, I have got nothing bad to say about it. Okay. Um, one thing that I really do believe, and I'm hoping Link Plus, if you're watching. Um, this thing needs a case, okay? I mean, I, if you drop this thing, I mean, you can see glass is right there, all right? Um, I mean, if you drop this thing, this thing is aluminum, metal. If this thing hits hard enough, this, this screen's gone. I mean, this screen is gone. We definitely need a really good, not some little gel skin case. We need a really good, and I don't think there's any cases available for this thing yet you know, that I've seen. So we really need a good case for this tablet. Uh, something that's going to protect the corners and protect that, that display. Um, so hopefully, Link Plus, hopefully we'll see some uh, some good, well-built cases here soon for this. Uh, screen protectors or whatever the case may be. But, you know, 7,000 milliamp hour battery. Video quality is excellent. You know, audio quality is good. Gaming quality, I mean, you know, it's just, it's the whole package. And I'm going to be honest with you, for $150 to $170, to me, this is one of the best tablets I've, I've ever used. Uh, and I've used several. This thing right here really outdid itself. In my personal opinion, Link Plus did a very good job with this tablet. Um, of course, with the cameras, they could have been better. And, you know, I don't see much happening in the way of software support. Um, but as far as, you know, and, and the audio could be a little bit more clearer, you know, it sounds a little bit muffled more than it does clear, but you can definitely hear it and it's not going to be like, oh, this is hurting. This is killing my ears. It's no, nothing like that. I mean, to me, this is a solid tablet. I've not really had it get hot. I have watched, I've been on, like I said, I've been on NFL network watching, you know, games for three or four hours with it playing nonstop. It's never got warm. Um, or if it did get warm, it was very little. Um, the performance is great. The processor runs good. 8 gigabytes of RAM, plenty of storage. Um, like I said, I cannot attest to the really graphically intensive games and see because I don't play those games. So I don't bother downloading them and trying them out because I don't play them. Um, but as far as an everyday tablet with a nice 2000 by 1200 display, you know, that looks very clear, very vivid, very, you know, it just looks good. I mean, overall, I highly recommend this tablet. I will leave links down below. Like I said, if you want to find it on Amazon easier and pick this thing up for yourself, um, I think it's well worth the money, especially if you just want to watch content, if you want to play some games, 
um, something like that, I recommend it because the price is right um, and the quality is good. And I just overall in the past two months have not had a single issue with it. So if it's self informative in any way, Hope it was. Hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it down below. If you're new here and not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell on for all post notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and thanks for watching.